This DJI Phantom quadcopter kit comes with the transmitter, the quadcopter itself, the propellers, one battery pack, I bought an extra one, and you get a 110 volt charger with the kit. You do have to screw on the landing gear and the props, but everything else comes already assembled. And that's good news because there's four of just about everything. Two of the props turn clockwise and two turn counterclockwise. And they have logos on the props and the arms by the motors where they go, so you can't really get this wrong unless you're not paying attention. The hoop style landing gear are very simple, but they work great, especially in the grass. And this is the GoPro mount that comes with the kit. You don't get the camera, just the mount. The battery fits into this compartment in the body. And now's a good time to look at the blades and see that I've been flying the heck out of this thing for quite a while now, and it flies great. The transmitter looks very bare bones, but when you look up in the corners, you see all the sophisticated stuff is under these toggle switches. To get the Phantom ready to fly, you have to set the throttle to zero, turn the transmitter on, and install the battery pack and plug it in. And that starts a warm-up sequence that gets everything ready to go. This big LED on the back tells you lots of things about what's going on. And right here it's telling us that it's warming up. And this can go on for a couple of minutes. And after a little bit the flashing will turn to green and that tells us that we're ready to go. The red flashing means that it's found several GPS satellites. To start and stop the motors, we push the handles to the inside bottom corners. After that the throttle stick works normally. And we just advance the throttle until it lifts off. And then we get to start playing and see how easy it is to fly the Phantom. I thought we'd start out with a little spin up to the trees and see if there's any squirrels at home. It doesn't take much practice to be able to fit the Phantom in between branches if there's enough room there. It's a pretty decent day in terms of wind, so I can fit the Phantom in pretty close, but there's no squirrels at home, even though we can hang around and look around for a while if we'd want to. I've gone through whole battery packs hanging around here looking for squirrels, but there's nobody home today. But I've got something else I wanted to do to show you one of the main reasons people buy the DJI Phantom with that GoPro mount. Looking for squirrels is one thing, but we want to go higher. Getting it up to altitude is where the GoPro really shines, and the Phantom does a great job and makes a good platform for doing that. I've noticed that without even going very high, you look around and this just doesn't look like the neighborhood that you live in. The perspective of hovering in the air above where you stand gives you a whole new outlook on what's around you. I'm not real sure how high the Phantom will go reliably, but I've had it a bunch higher than this, and it turns out that this is all you really need for most things. And then here's where I'd let the GPS keep it in the same position, and I just turn it around and take a look around the neighborhood. And you can get some really dramatic effects by doing this early in the morning. But depending on what you want to get on video, you don't even have to go very high. You can just cruise around the yard. Just flying little patterns in the yard is fun and it's good practice for if you ever have to follow a certain pattern for a video that you want to make. The Phantom really is easy to fly. It takes a little practice, but not much. And if you're still looking for reasons to justify this kind of expense, the Phantom lets you get a really good look at things around the house that you don't want to do on a ladder. I can get airsick wearing thick socks, so using the Phantom to go up and take a look at the cap of my chimney is a whole lot better idea. And it's way more fun too. So if you're thinking about getting a quadcopter and you want to use one with the GoPro, I can't think of a much better deal than the DJI Phantom. This is a great quadcopter right out of the box, it's easy to fly and it does everything we need. Thank you.